Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cynical, and this is Gems of War. And today we have the spoilers for January 4th, 2021. So, we'll be going over all the events, uh, new troops, um, new weapons, uh, anything else new for this week on all platforms. So, PS4, PS5. Xbox, any kind of Xbox, PC, mobile, any kind of Nintendo. Going over it all right now, so let's get started. For the week of January 4th, 2021. Alright, weekly event spoilers for PC, mobile, Xbox, PS. Let's get started. Um, We have on Monday, January 4th, the world event. Hopefully they don't do what they did last week and do skulls, skull metal, with no skull troops, in a, with enemies that have skull mitigation. Like, at the end of this world event, which I'm not even done with yet, which, you know, I'm really close, I gotta do like four battles today, if I want to, um, the very last, like, the, what I'm, like, when you get a really hard battle, you got no way to make skulls. Um, except for, like, a class, if you want a, a Skull Storm. And then, the enemies that you face are, like, all trolls that have 50% Skull Mitigation. Like, they, it was a horrible event. Worst event ever, probably. Um, so hopefully it's better this time. They should make every kingdom have some sort of Skulls and some sort of spell. If that's, if this, if they're gonna keep doing these world events, there needs to be options on both sides for every single kingdom. Or every single restriction. Whatever you want to say. Monday, January 4th, world event. Um, Bright Forest um, is the kingdom. It is 160% spell damage for all troops in the current event. So I don't think they can go wrong with that one. I think the only, like, the skull one is the only one, if it's only skulls. Like, I think there's always troops that can do spell damage, right? So let's hope so. Um, but yeah, get your spell damage teams ready from Bright Forest. All right, Tuesday, Faction Assault at Mirrored Halls. Wednesday, Pet Rescue for Fairy. 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 That's it, Fairy. Class Event Thursday, January 7th for Hero Fant. Not one that's used. Uh, don't waste your gems. And then Friday, Faction the Labyrinth. Is that a new faction? Must be. It's on Friday. Mechatar. Tauros Mechs. Ooh, that might be interesting. Like Ferocity. Um, Ketris. Um, Shaman Class. Tauros Mechs. We'll see. We're about to see. I'll tell you about all the new troops when we get to that. Which is next. Alright, so just to recap. World Event Brightstone... Bright Forest, I mean. World Event Bright Forest, Spell Damage, Faction Assault, Mirrored Halls, Pet Rescue, Fairy, Class Event, Hero Fant, Faction, New Faction, The Labyrinth, Friday, January 8th, 2021. Alright, let's go check out the new troops from uh, the new faction. Troop spoilers, PC Mobile, Xbox, PS4. Spring Emissary. This must be the Glory Troop. Monday, January 4th, 2021, Bright Forest. Spring Emissary. Spring has sprung. The has riz. Whatever that means. Arcane Swamp. I'm sure somebody knows in the comments. Base Rarity Epic. Troop Type Fey Mystic. Troop Roll Support. It looks like the cross between uh, Spring Imp and... Um, Spring Imp and, like, Stargazer, maybe? Something like that. It's a more... It's not an Imp. It's a woman. But it's a, it looks like Spring Imp. Flowering Wisdom. Give four magic to an ally and mana, mana equal to half their mana cost. If they are fey, bless and enchant them. Um, so just one ally. That's my first thought. But if they're fey... That's a lot of stuff. So, four magic, half mana, bless, and enchant. 
Blue green, mana cost 13. Let's see if it has any good traits. Trait number one, Fey Bond, allied Fey gain two life. Trait number two, Fire Link, gain bonus red mana from red gem matches. Trait number three, Nature Link, gain bonus green mana from green gem matches. Huh, two links. All right, now we're into the Labyrinth Troops, the new faction. Friday, January 8th, 2021. The Labyrinth. Uh, looks like double green, uh, red, minus purple. That's a pretty good one, right? Horned Guardian is the rare troop. Some days you're the pigeon, some days you're the statue. Arcane Beast, base rarity rare. Troop type Taurus Construct, troop roll defender. Guard the Maze. It's a, it looks like for us, it's a Taurus. It's a bull with an axe. Guard the maze. Gain magic plus one armor and barrier. Then knock a random enemy to the back. Mana color green, red. Mana cost 11. That's a pretty good tank, right? Trait number one, deep shield. Gain nine armor when attacking delves. Trait number two, thick head. Immunity to stun. Trait number three, stone skin. Reduce damage from skulls by 50%. So what, it's going to gain like 30-something armor and barrier? I always got my numbers wrong, though, so don't, don't, it's something around there, within like 10. All right, King Minos, Minos. Okay, it's a Minotaur, so King Minos. The Labyrinth, a formidable foe. King, that's like a, too much. Arcane Swamp, base rarity legendary, troop type Taurus, troop roll mage. He's a pretty cool looking bull dude. Um, he's screaming. He's got fire all around him and he's screaming. Kind of looks like a gargoyle. But he's a Taurus. He's a bull. He's a bull goyle. Aerial charge. Deal magic plus four heavy splash damage to an enemy. Stun all enemies affected. Then jumble all of the enemy team. This is the legendary. Deal magic plus four heavy splash damage. That's better than an enemy. Well, it is to an enemy, but it hits the adjacent enemies. And stuns all of them. Then jumbles the whole team. At least that'll screw them up pretty good, you know what I mean? Like, that's a nice... It's one of those troops that... It's gonna mess with them. It might not win you the matchup, but it'll mess them up. It'll, it'll annoy the other team. Mana color blue-green, mana cost 16. Whenever I talk about new troops, I really don't know if they're going to be good or not. So, you know what I mean? You got to use them first. And you got to use them for a couple weeks, I would say. You can't just say this is good or this is not good. Sometimes it's glaringly obvious when they're not going to be good or when they're going to be great. So, but when it's in the middle somewhere, sometimes things surprise you, like the Night Spider, like like uh, the Scourge of Honor, like they're a little bit better than they look on paper. Trait number one, Deep Vitality, gain nine life on attacking delves. Trait number two, Greedy. Trait number three, Maze Master, give 50% mana to all Taurus allies when battle begins. Whew. Ferocity. Um, Ketris. And everything else in this faction. Friday, January 8th, we have... The epic troop from this faction, which is Mechator. You can't ride this mechanical bull. Arcane Storm, base rarity epic, troop type Taurus Mech, troop roll warrior. It's a mechanical bull. Grinding Below, Bellow. Grinding Bellow. <laughs> Grinding Below. That's what I'm going to call it. Grinding Below. Grinding Below. Deal magic plus three. Sp uh, splash damage to an enemy boosted by my armor. There are independent 30% chances to silence each affected enemy 3 to 1. Deal magic plus 3 splash damage to an enemy boosted by my armor. Sounds like gargoyle. Kinda. There are independent 30% chances. Okay. It's not bad. That is the epic. Trait number one, Deep Shield. Trait number two, Invention. Gain two armor on four or five gym matches. Trait number three, Armored. Reduce damage from skulls by 25%. Rhino Tor, the ultra rare. He always gets his point across in the end. 
Arcane Forest, Space Rarity, Ultra Rare, Troop Type, Taurus, Wild Folk, Troop Roll, Generator. Maddening Charge. He looks like a bull mixed with a Taurus. Like a, a rhino mixed. You know, it's a rhino tour. It's a, it's a rhino Taurus. Maddening Charge. Explode either a row or column, then knock the last enemy to the front. Is that So do we get to pick, or is it just random? Row or column. Never seen that before. Mana color green, brown, mana cost 13. It's got deep vitality, bloodlust, uh, become enraged when enemy dies. Tree number three, thick hide. Reduce damage from skulls by 20%. Alright, that's it. Um, legendary looks like he's uh, annoying. Um, and, and, and explode a row or a column is there. A 50% for Taurus allies. Um, some interesting stuff there. We got a glory troop with two links. Anyway, let's keep it moving. Did I already say in the background is just more bounty? I'm just finishing up the bounty, so... I don't know if I said that or not. Weapon spoilers for PC, mobile, Xbox, PS4. This is taking a little bit longer because we have new stuff. So that's good, right? The spoiler video takes longer. That's good. Friday, January 8th, we have a Minnow's Cleaver for weapon. Wild Plains, Rarity, Legendary, Weapon Type Axe, Weapon Roll Generator. Green, Red, Mana Color. Mana cost 14. It is Explode, a Row, or Column. Deal Magic plus 4 damage to the first enemy, then Jumble the enemy team. It's got Gain to Attack. Enrage myself, deal 5 damage to the first enemy, and gain 4 mana. Um, and that's it. So that's the weapon for that faction. You can get in the shop. Class spoiler, so we're going to have a new pet as well, right? No class spoilers, but let's just click on it. I haven't clicked on it in a while. No future classes expected for anybody, or for, for us. Kingdom Spoilers, The Labyrinth, Today, The Maze of King Mino, or Minos, Minos Labyrinth is the delve. The exiled Minotaur King Minos built a maze in the underworld to protect his treasure. Um, is there any information here? Kingdom Bonuses, it's got Attack and Health. Uh, not much I can tell you here. The banner is two red, or two green. What? That's wrong. It says two green, two red, minus one purple. That's not right. Can't have two and two, right? Uh, clicked on something and found a typo, I think. Pet spoilers. What do we get? Dinotaur. Cool. I'm definitely going to go after that one. Friday, January 8th. Wild Plains. It is, uh... Dino Tour, it's a little dinosaur. Pet color red. Kingdom team bonus for the labyrinth. It's a cute little dino. Cute little mean dino. So I'm gonna go for that one for sure. As soon as I'm done with whatever I'm going for now, which I think is the deep hive, I'm gonna go for that one next. We'll see though, because it's the week it's gonna be a full weekend. So I might just do the pure faction and the and the five hundred because I really I want the pet. I don't know. We'll see. I might go for it, though. I got gems. I got gems. I got gold. I don't know if I got treasure or not, but... I should probably try to get it this week. I should probably do my three doves a day this whole week. Okay. Um, and Max Kingdom Power is the last thing. And then we're all finally on to Nintendo Switch. But hey, it's always a good thing when this takes longer. On uh, the 4th... January 4th, 2021, Bright Forest Kingdom Power goes to 14. And on January 8th, 2021, Wild Plains Kingdom Power goes to 21. Okay, so now we're on to Switch. But let's uh, recap, though, real quick. We're getting a new faction for PS4, Xbox, PC, and mobile. A new faction based around Taurus... Um, a new weapon, a new pet, a little dinosaur pet. 
Uh, a 50% start for Taurus. A new legendary. And um, that's about it. But that's cool, though. The world event is spell damage, and it's a uh, bright forest, right? So that's what that's what there is. So a new faction basically is the best best thing there. New faction, new pet, new weapon, fifty percent start for Taurus. Weekly event spoilers for Nintendo Switch. We have Guild Wars. Monday, January fourth, Guild Wars starts. Tuesday, January 5th, Sea of Sorrows Faction Assault. Wednesday, Wormling Pet, Dragon's Claw. Thursday, Dragon Guard, Class Event. Not a good class, but it does have a Firestorm. Friday, Faction Assault for the Deep Hive. You guys are finally getting the Deep Hive. I feel like we've been talking about the Deep Hive for two or three months now for, for Nintendo Switch. But hey, that is um, Queen Beatrix, which is really good troop. Alright, let's go check out your new troops for Nintendo Switch. So we're both getting new factions this weekend. And remember on Nintendo Switch, I did... Every time a new faction comes out, I do a video. So, if you look back, I did one for the Deep Hive. So you're not left out, you're just in the past. Monday, January 4th, 2021, you guys are getting Matron Dragatoni from Dragon's Claw, Keep Calm and Drag On, Arcane Skull, Base Rarity Legendary, Troop Type Dragon Centaur, Troop Roll Generator, it's a Woman Dragon mix, Fields of Ice, create six blue gems boosted by frozen enemies, then deal magic plus three damage to the first and last enemies boosted by blue gems, mana color purple brown, mana cost 15. Trait number one, Fireproof. Trait number two, Dragon Boon. 25% chance to summon a Dragonette on death. Trait number three, Arcane Resistance. Reduce damage from spells by 75%. I always thought that was going to be better than it, than it was. So I don't know. It always looked okay, and then it, we never use it. So there's that. Monday, January 4th, 2021, Dragon's Claw. Sil Frost and Ath. That was always fun to say when it came out, but I got used to it. Stay Frosty, Arcane Swamp, Base Rarity Epic, Troop Type Dragon, Troop Roll Mage. So Matron Dragatoni is like your legendary. You're getting a legendary, right? Then so Frost and Ath is your glory troop, I think. Frost Breath, deal magic plus one damage to all enemies, freeze one to four random enemies. Mana color blue green, mana cost 13. It's not bad when it's, there's like a restriction. It's not bad, but you never want to use it on purpose. Only when they make you. Trait number one, huge. Gain two life on four or five gym matches. Trait number two, insulated immunity to frozen. Trait number three, tough scales. Reduce damage from skulls by 30%. All right, and you get your deep hive troops on Friday, January 8th. The deep hive. Beetle Blade. He's a real nowhere man. Arcane Mountain. Base rarity rare. Troop type wild folk. Troop roll assassin. He's a beetle man with a sword. Hive Swarm. Deal magic plus 4 damage to an enemy. If they are, if there are 13 or more brown gems, deal triple damage. Mana color yellow-brown, mana cost 11. Trait number 1, Deep Strength. Gain 7 attack when attacking delves. Trait number 2, Song of Stone. Summon a Dust Storm at the start of battle. Trait number 3, Stealthy. You all know what that is. Friday, January 8th, of course, all of these are because this is the faction troops. So, Moth Mage from the Deep Hive. They're all from the Deep Hive, and they're all on Friday, January 8th. So, I don't say that again. They say Moth Mages live in sex. Arcane Skull, Base Rarity Ultra Rare. Troop Type Wild Folk Mystic, Troop Roll Mage. It's a Moth Man. Lightning Chrysalis. Deal Magic divided by 2 plus 4 damage to all enemies. There are independent 25% chances boosted by brown gems to gain an extra turn and half my mana back. Mana color, purple brown, mana cost 12. It's got deep magic, stone spirit, gain 1 magic for each brown ally. Trait number 3 is spell armor, reduce damage from spells by 25%. And we have Queen Beatrix. Honey, I'm home. And she's home. She's good. Definitely a good troop. Arcane Swamp, Base Rarity Legendary. Troop Type Wild Folk Mystic, Troop Roll Generator. Get her as soon as you can. Hornet's Nest. 
Create nine green and nine brown gems. Then deal magic times two plus six true scatter damage. There are independent 40% chances to gain an extra turn and half my mana back. Doesn't that sound awesome? And it is. Mana color blue green, mana cost 16. Trait number one, deep vitality. Trait number two, arcane. Gain one magic when an ally casts a spell. Trait number three, listen to this one, royal honey. Cleanse all allies when matching four or more gems. And with her spell, that happens quite a bit. And it doesn't even have to happen off her spell, just any time. So royal honey plus maybe an extra turn, plus green and brown gems, plus true damage. Alright, the epic is Scarab Knight. I say that wrong, I know. I got, I've got you under my shittin'. Chitin. Oops. Educational purposes. Purposes. Educational purposes. Chitin. Arcane Forest. Space rarity epic. Troop type wild folk knight. Troop roll defender. It's a... Scarab. Scarab shield. Scarab. Scarab. Whatever. Gain barrier and magic plus one armor. There are independent 25% chances boosted by brown gems to gain an extra turn and half my mana back. Please, 75 people tell me how to say that word, please. In the comments. 75 comments, please. Telling me how to say that word, please. Mana color green, brown, mana cost 12. Trait number one, deep shield. Trait number two, immune to disease. Trait number three, stone skin. Dam reduce damage from skulls by 50%. The only troop we, we use from that uh, faction is Queen Bee. So, Queen Beatrix, but she's awesome. So, congratulations. Weapon spoilers for Switch. Honey Dipper. Friday, January 8th. Drifting Sands. Rarity Legendary. Weapon type Polearm. Weapon Roll Striker. Mana color green brown, mana cost 16. Honey Dipper deals magic plus 2 damage to an enemy and charms them. There are independent 30% chances to gain an extra turn and half my mana back. It has gain 4 life. Drain 3 mana from the la from the first enemy. Deals 5 damage to the second enemy. And creates a dust storm. It always sounded okay and I think I've used it like once. It's one of those type of weapons. Like you might pull it out of your back pocket every once in a while all right that's it though that's your faction weapon class spoilers you guys have any new classes doomsayer next time okay and that's your last class so you're all caught up on classes after next week like 10 days from now or whatever um of course you got the deep hive this week Pet spoilers for Switch. You're getting that mini Skeeto, the one I'm going for right now. Friday, January 8th, 2021. Drifting Sands, mini Skeeto. It's a mosquito that's a little fat black and red mosquito with tiny wings. He's fat with tiny wings. Pet color red. Kingdom Team bonus, the Deep Hive. You don't get another pet for... 19 days after that. Um, and what else? Max Kingdom Power for Nintendo Switch. Dragon's Claw Kingdom Power 13 on the 4th. Drifting Sands Kingdom Power 18 on the 8th. Alright, so that is everything. Took me like 5 extra minutes with all that new stuff. Alright, so to recap. Nintendo Switch is getting the Deep Hive. They're getting Queen Beatrix. That is really good. Um, and then everyone else is getting the Labyrinth. 50% start for Taurus. And a cool little uh, dinosaur pet. So that's what I can remember from the upcoming week. That's the things that stuck out to me. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Comment below how to say Scarab. Scarab. Um, tell your guild about the channel. Consider joining. It helps a lot. It's dollars instead of pennies. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.